What is happening guys? Welcome back to the Lunar Dark Nuzlocke. So we just defeated Beacon up here at the lighthouse and he gave us the ability to now fly around with his service whistle, which is kind of weird to use as like his own Pokemon to let us fly around. I don't know. Marvin loves us though. Loves traveling with Hayden. That is damn adorable. Okay, uh, we'll check this trash can. Of course it's empty and it's pretty much time to get on out of here. Not really sure what we're supposed to do next. Maybe we're supposed to fly back somewhere that we've been before but I, the one city that we could go back to and do a gym battle we actually don't have enough badges so i assume we're supposed to go to some new cities here but we're gonna head out yonder and see what's happening oh, okay something's going down and it's this asshole of course it is you again so you battled beacon you won suppose that if you beat him he must not be that strong uh, i would just be a waste of time if i battled him this, this this what are we gonna do with this guy man there's no gym here, so this place is pointless. I'm heading back to my home in Rassic City. My sister Lizzie called me saying that the Dragon Master Rex is there. You don't know who he is? Well, he's a famous trainer of Dragon-type Pokemon. He's also one of the Elite Four. I'm going back to see if I can challenge him to a battle. Catch you later. So I assume that's... I mean, why is he battling a member of the Elite Four? Interesting. Um, Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the... Whatever it is, Service Whistle. So we got ourselves... This here whistle, and uh, I'm just going to use this to take a look at the map. So uh, we can fly back to any of these cities on the left. We have not been to any of the areas on the right. Uh, so we're unable to go to Sailport Town. I assume that's where we're supposed to go next. Uh, up here we have Rassic City, so that's where he's headed. I, I guess that's where we're supposed to follow. Green Pine. We got Serio. There's still a lot of cities that we have not been to yet. But uh, over at the top left is the Pokemon League. I think it is, right? Yep, that's the uh, Rakoto League Village. All right, so I guess we're supposed to go down and then to the right. I think we weren't able to go out of this place before we did the lighthouse, but we're pretty much good to go. I also should actually heal up now that I think about it. Did we get a heal up? I do need to get everybody in fighting shape. We're also probably going to put Donna in front. That beast evolved last episode, and uh, she's an absolute unit. I'm excited to see what that thing can do. We also got poison jabs, so we're looking pretty solid. We have two decent poison types, which... It's probably a little bit overkill, but that's fine. Donna is level 40, looking like a monster. And we should also take the EXP share from you. We'll actually give it to Ranja. Because now Ranja is the lower leveled one. So there you go with the EXP share. Um, we should also take the lucky egg from Charlotte and we will give it to Donna. Because being level 40, we still are a little bit behind. So we can use all the experience we can get. So now we're good to go. And let's see... Look at the shiny girl following me. Like how the tail wags. <laughs> okay, so I guess maybe we go down this way. Oh, okay, something's happening. We're going the right way. Hey, Hayden, wait for me. Would you look who it is? All my friends are coming to talk to me after I beat the freaking lighthouse. Isn't this place beautiful? That lighthouse is so incredible. I see you're coming along on your journey. So am I. I've met so many different kinds of Pokemon and people. So much fun. Not far from here, there's a place called Lake Bliss. I've heard that there are lots of beautiful flowers and cute Pokemon there. Even rare ones. I'm gonna go there and see what I can get. Cute Pokemon, we're freaking there. Uh, for now, we can have a Pokemon battle. Let's see how far we've both come. All right, so wasn't really expecting a Kira battle, but let's get it. Pink girl, about to catch these hands. She's probably gonna be jealous of my shiny Donna. She has five Pokemon, hot damn. She leads off with a Rubyop, uh, level 34. So not too scary, although I guess, I mean, this thing's ground fighting. We could, we could just hit it with a, let's go for a Spiky Shield turn one, see if we can get this thing to hurt itself. Come at me, Rubyop. Smackdown. That's right. Protected itself. And uh, it apparently doesn't make contact, so that didn't work. Let's go for a bulldoze here and see how much that does. I really wonder if we're ever going to get the TM for Earthquake one of these days. That would be real nice. Are able to drop its speed, and this thing has bulldoze of its own, which um, does a lot. So, freaking ouch. And that drops our speed, but it fe its speed fell too, so we're still going to be faster. And one more is going to finish it off, so... Not the best leadoff matchup for freaking Donna, but uh, we thick, so we taking that. All right, next is a Flaro. Um, no idea what the hell a Flaro is, but we're gonna go into Happy because it sounds fired. I guess we can hit it with the Scald. Flaro? Have we seen this before? I don't know. I'm terrible with names. Uh, ooh, that's the that is the starter Pokemon. Um, so Fire Ground type is, I believe, what this thing is. We're gonna go for a nice little Scald. Assist, really? Get a qu Holy shit, it assisted Quiver Dance. That is terrible for us, because uh, that raises its special defense. And uh, that's not what we needed when we went for a Scald. So, 
Oh, luckily Scald still does actually kill it because it's only level 37. We're actually 10 levels higher, which is uh, pretty damn good. We go, go to level 48 as well. Next is a Nimblo. More of these damn Nimblos, man. These things are everywhere and... Oh, wait, no, Nimblo is the, uh, the different thing. Totally different thing. Okay, Nimblo is actually kind of cool. We're going to Aurora Beam you. It does have Vacuum Wave for some reason. You're not freaking fighting type. This little dollop of whipped cream. About to catch that Aurora Beam and do that. I, I thought that was the blimp thing, but then we're good. False alarm. All right, what's next? Next is a Horse Sush. Horse Sush. Uh, we're going to go into... You know what? Ranja could probably take this thing out. Uh, we're only level 35, but I'm, I'm thinking we'll be okay. Oh, it's level 35 too. Perfect. All right, we're going to give you a nice little flame burst. See how you like that. It goes for a bounce. That's freaking annoying. Okay. So it avoids it because it's, you know, in the air or whatever. And uh, is it freaking raining again? I didn't even realize it. We also, also gets the paralyze with bounce. I always forget that bounce can even para. Every time I bring out Ranja, it's always fucking raining. And that does not help our fire cause. Jesus, that was a terrible idea. Well, we're going into Dracula then. And, uh, I hate these horse sushes. Seems like these things are freaking everywhere lately, and they ugly as hell. I mean, kind of ugly. I mean, in my opinion. I'm saying, I mean, I guess it's a beautiful horse, but, I mean, fuck em. Acrobatics to your ugly face is gonna knock you out. So, what else you got for me? Kira. So, she, since she has so many Pokemon, she seems to, oh, Gale Rush, not have that good at Pokemon? Okay, what the hell is Gale Rush? Hold up. Uh, 80 base power flying move. User wraps itself in strong wind, then tackles the opponent. May also make the target flinch. Does that mean that this is a double turn move? Um, we'll get rid of Dark Matter because we haven't used Dark Matter in about 10 fortnights anyway, so that's fine. Ranja level 36. The rain does stop, thankfully. Next is a Pixlily. Uh, so we'll switch out of here. This is that uh, that freaking that fairy type. We'll go into Charlotte. Probably could use Donna here, but since we're at half health, we're not gonna we ain't gonna play no games. Fix Lily. Also an ugly ass Pokemon. Kira just has the absolute worst taste in Pokemon. My god. That is gonna knock it out though. Only 36, so we good. And we win. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm I'm glad. You did so well. I think I did well too. You always need to have confidence in yourself and learn from your losses. Let me heal your Pokemon. That is very nice of her, so we don't have to run our asses all the way back to the Poke Center, but now we can get out of the damn city. I have a useful gift for you, and we obtained an amulet coin. Nice. That is going to give us more money if you have that in the front slot. Doubles the amount of money you gain from battles. I have to find Rodney. I'll give him one, too. Bye. Where the hell are you just coming across the amulet coins? Cool. Well, we're going to head down this way, check the trash can. You never freaking know. And let's see where this leads us. So, Route 11, uh, do I have Pokeballs? I also think I need to go pick up some more healing items, uh, which I totally meant to do. We do have a bunch of Ultra Balls, um, but we just don't have enough, really don't have enough Hyper Potions, and I feel like it's probably good to stock up on those. We kind of have a long way to the next city, probably, so I should have done this when I went to the Poke Center before. I forgot we used a lot last episode, but... We're going to stock back up. I have a shit ton of money because, like I mentioned, uh, a couple episodes back, I ended up selling a bunch of my items. So, I mean, we have a decent amount, 166. Not bad. We're going to get some hypers. I'll also grab some supers so I don't end up fucking using hyper potions to heal off, like, 15 damage like I've been doing. I should probably just do regular potions if that's the case, but we're just going to get some supers for now. That's fine. We balling. Homeboy's not even balling on a budget. So, all right. Now we're good to go. And we're gonna catch ourselves a new Pokemon on this new on this next route. Probably gonna be some new stuff. It seems like there is so many Pokemon in this game. It also is a very large region. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of room for new Pokemon. Let's see what we got over on Route 11 here. So it's freaking apple on that tree. Found an apple. Okay. What the hell does an apple do? Does that just heal me up? Is that in the health pocket? Where is the apple? I'm intrigued. Is this like Minecraft? Does it heal my... Does it heal me up? Where the fuck did that apple go? Is it a key item? I'm confused. Why would the apple be a key item? I have no idea. But is it in the apricorn basket? I don't fucking know. We're, we're, we're done with the apple. Let's see what we can get as our first encounter. This grass looks a little strange. Let's see what we can find. Our first encounter... Ooh, it's one of them peacock motherfuckers. Cyflock over here, level 34. That is actually great. If we decided to throw this on the team... 
Uh, it's at a decent level for us. Um, I'm afraid to weaken it. I don't exactly remember what type this thing is. Should we go into Ranja? Uh, it's obviously flying type. I mean, uh, obviously psychic flying now that I think about it. <laughs> it's a sci it says side block. Let's just go for... Um, I think we could hex it probably. Hex has the scariest freaking animation. My god. Ooh. That actually did more than I thought it would because... Okay, extra sensory is scary. Um, yo, Ronda, what is your what is your stat here? 105 special attack. Jesus. I honestly I forgot that Hex was ghost type. I I thought that was poison type because I think of Hex as it, never mind. Either way, it worked out because this thing didn't die and we're good to go. So, <laughs> if I would have just killed that thing with Hex, that I, that would have been bad. But we're good. We good. It is going to roost, though, which is fucking annoying. Damn it. Okay, well, we're just going to try to catch this thing, I guess. I'm going to throw some balls at you, buddy. See how we can how we can do here. Ultra balls should do the trick. I would love to have me a little peacock boy. I remember when I saw the initial form of this thing. I really wanted it. And we do actually catch it first try, so not even bad. Donna does grow to 41. And we got that data. So psychic flying type in battle, Cyphlock used their colorful tail to hypnotize their opponent. Once it has caught them off guard, they are striked with powerful psychic attacks. So, uh, that's pretty damn cool. What should we name a Cyphlock? All right, so I couldn't come up with anything clever, so we're gonna name you Gloria. And, uh, I mean, this thing looks like a freaking Gloria. It's glorious. So, there we go, we got ourselves a Cyphlock, which is awesome. I feel like that was a good encounter for us here. Anyway, let's continue. And uh, we got some some farming lads. Some good old farming folk out here. Howdy there, are you a trainer? Obviously, you are. Your name is Hayden? Yep, my name is Sally. I live and work here at the Hay Barrel Ranch. I suppose you've heard of this place. Uh, this is where we raise Bowel. Come, I'll show you around. All right. Uh-oh, what's happening? Is that Rodney? Hello? It's both of them. Are you going to Hay Barrel Ranch? Who might you two be? I'm Rodney. My name is Kira. We are here to see Bowel. That's okay. Sure, I was going to show Hayden around. Just join us. So, what's up with y'all's Bowel? Why are they such a important thing? This is our farmhouse. My dad built it. All of the farm workers live there. There's another apple over there, too. Got some berries down there. Berry planting field. If you have some berries to plant, just try it out. Cool. And there's just apples scattered all around. What is going on over here in this here barn? This is our barn. In it, we raise our Bowel. And when they're old enough, we evolve them with evolutionary stones. Come in. I'll show you all of our Bowel. We'll wait for you indoors, Hayden. All right. Uh, cool. Before we do that, let's go ahead and grab these apples. Is there something to fucking do with these apples? Oh, they're waiting for me in the barn. I can't go any farther. That's fine. We're just going to head right in there and see what is waiting for us with these Bowel. What is up? Here are the Bowel. They're so cute. They are, aren't they? Bowel are well known for their amazing soft and silky wool. Heard that the Bowel can evolve into different Pokemon, is that right? These things are like Eevees. That's right. Bowel can evolve into six different Pokemon of different types using evolutionary stones. I want one so bad. Can we pet them? Sure, why not? While you're at it, ask the breeders here about the evolutions. I'm sure they can give information about them. Well, interesting. So let's kind of talk to these people, see what they got to tell us. Ooh, look at that thing. In this picture, you can see Babel. It's the water type evolution of Bowel. Evolves from Bowel when it's exposed to a water stone. Well, that is a pretty cool evolution there. We like this. What you got for me, buddy? Ooh, the fire one looking crazy as hell. What if uh, that new freaking sheep Pokemon that they showed in the Nintendo Direct has something that they could do this? It's like the new Eevees, man. In this picture, you can see Babush. Okay, that one's that one's literally that one's a bush. So very bushy and bouncy. That thing's got hella bush. What else we got here? Ooh, this one's pretty badass. Babreeze, the flying evolution. That boy got some wings. He's a freaking cloud. Air stone. What the hell is even an air stone? Okay. Cool. And then we got you. Okay, that's a freaking... That one's badass. You can see the babbled. It's a rock type evolution. So it's not the normal type. It's got some rocks, some flying. I like it. Very rough and dry. Now that, that, that thing's wool is not too ideal, huh? And then this lady... Can see Bablis, the ice type evolution. So that thing can't see a damn thing. Very thick and sleek, mostly for clothing for people in colder parts of the region. Insulates heat. 
Well, uh, ah, Hayden, I think you have all the information you need. Come back, I want to hear your opinion about the vowels. You're probably going to give me my favorite one or something. So what do you think? I like them so much. I like the bad block. It looks tough. Bad block is pretty badass. What was that? It came from outside the back of the barn. Uh-oh. Something's going down in the back of the barn. But worry not. We are here to the rescue. Oh, it's these assholes again. You can't escape me. Herd them in. It's Team Solar. What the fuck are they? What are you doing to those sheep? Leave those bad wool alone. These kids again. What are these people? What are they doing with the bad wool? They're bad guys. We're taking the bad wool. They'd be useful for us. What the hell? What? Why? Stay out of the way, kids. You've messed with our plans too many times already. Take them out. All right, so let's show them what we got. We'll take care of this, Sally. Let's get it. So we got to battle some uh, some bad dudes. Did not expect them in the back of the barn. Anyway, you got a Cabalta, level 38. That is perfect for Donna. We can handle that thing. Uh, we'll just give you a nice little bulldoze. We know it through experience that Cabaltas actually die very easily to ground types because they are four times weak to it. If uh, we can ever get one off. There we go. Later, Cabalta. So, level 38. That thing's kind of scary. We're going to get a lot of experience from this. There we go, Donna. Look at that. We're on to 37. Next is a Scorpinova. Another one of those thingies. And I'm kind of afraid of Scorpinova. We're just going to switch right into Happy. Uh, when in doubt, just bring in Happy Feet, you know? Can't go wrong. Double sparkly, boys. All right, so the Scorpinova. Just about to get absolutely destroyed by this Scald. Uh, only level 38. That's fine. I could have just stayed in and bulldozed it, but I know that these things have ground moves, so probably would have been a bad call. And next is a D-Rash. We've we seen D-Rash before. I don't remember what the hell D-Rash is, but the name rings a bell. We're going to see. I'm just going to go into Charlotte because we do need the experience. Is this thing freaking... Is this the fire-type deer? I think it is. It's only level 38. Uh, this is a freaking fire-type, I'm pretty sure. We're going We're going right back into happy. I, I forget about D-Rash, man. He looks like he got a fiery tail. We're just going to bank on the fact that... Uh, okay, flame wheel. Yep, you fire as hell. Should not have gone into Charlotte, but it's good. We can just go ahead and scald you now. Some more flame wheels. Toss some hot water at you. And that'll do it. It's weird that an ice water type can have the ability to make hot water come out of its mouth. Well, we assume its mouth. I don't know. Not again. Why do you keep messing with our plants? Get out of here. Flash. All right, let's get out of here. So uh, we only had to beat one of them because apparently Rodney and Kira took the other two on. Thank you so much for saving the battle. Well, I don't know what I would have done if they had gotten away with them. I needed to go need to go tell my pop what happened. Come with me. Your pap? Gotta tell old pappy? What's going on in here? Sounds like these kids saved the day then. They did, pap. They saved all the bat wool. Thank you, kids. Who knows what Team Solar would have done with the bat wool. You've saved them and our ranch. It was no problem at all. Glad we could help. I want to thank you with a gift. I will allow all three of you to capture your own bat wool for our ranch. From our ranch to keep for yourselves. Yeah. So, okay. Cool. At least we could do, just go out in the barn and capture one of the bat. Why don't we just give me one? What the hell? We gotta go capture our own. Uh, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna check y'all's trash can, because why the hell not? And also, we could go upstairs, too. See if there's anything popping over here. Hello? I have unique berries grown specifically on offer that restore the HP of your Pokemon. It falls below 25%. Confuse if it uh, dislikes the taste. Take a look. You can buy them for just $1,000. I don't think we're going to spend $1,000 on berries today, but I appreciate the offer. And you like to buy some mulch? No, that's for planting berries. Probably not going to do too much berry farming. Made some berry juice. Do you like one? Sure. Tainted berry juice. You just gave us one for free. So, uh, thanks, pal. All right. Just some good old good old farming folk. They're some nice people. Okay, so now we can catch our own bat wool, uh, which is pretty sweet. We should also just go grab some berries while we're here, too. Two nana berries. We're going to grab them for sure. Uh, I don't think the other ones are fully grown yet. We could probably probably come back at some point when they're fully grown. At least I don't think they're fully grown. I don't remember what fully grown fucking berries look like. This one, this little dildo looking one. Okay, never mind. Oh, some pineapple berries. We can take those. For some reason, I thought you were just some little adolescent boys, but that's fine. And then we have some corn berries. I had no idea that corn berries were even a thing in Pokemon. There are so many different kinds of berries. Like, what the hell? And some block berries. Definitely heard of the old Blockberries. What is your favorite Pokemon berry? I like the classic orange berry. I don't know why. Weepier berries? That's fine. We have Rabuta. I think I've heard of Rabuta. That plant would be looking crazy as hell. 
some fucking alien plants here for sure. And we have a Magost berry. Are these are these actual Pokemon berries or are they just coming up with random shit? Because I feel like I've seen that plant before. Oh, there's also a Pokeball here, and it's an iron. Well, that was pretty damn useful. We'll take that. Blueberries. They all have like regular fruit names, but just spelled a little different. Like banana berries or like banana berries. Fucking weird. And then Durin. I'm, I'm just going to take all these because there's going to be some point where I'm going to need these damn berries. Then I'm going to be very glad that I did this. Over here we have a Watmel berry, some watermelons. Get ourselves some Watmel on a nice hot summer day. Thank you. And there's a spell on berry. And then one freaking more. So we could actually plant our own berries in here and then we could come back for them later but ain't nobody got time for that we're just gonna grab these here gnomals thank you okay uh let's also grab this apple while i remember that it's here thank you is that like a quest or something looking for it give me some of the apples i don't remember uh so apparently there's bat wool in here is this is this where we get them or do we go back into the, the back of the barn no nope, just another just another freaking pea flock sci flock Psy, whatever the hell the first thing's name was. Uh, do we go back to the back of the barn? I'm just here to steal y'all's freaking bat wool. Seems thankful to you to be rescuing it. It wants to join you. Would you like to take this bat wool? I sure would. Oh, we don't even have to battle it or capture it. We just kind of take it. Uh, so we'll give you a nickname. And uh, you look like a Betsy. Even though you're a freaking male, you're going to be Betsy. So we got ourselves a bat wool. We can evolve that and turn that into some crazy shit if we decide to. But, uh, neat. I'm so happy my battle is so cute. I wonder what I should evolve it into. I already know what mine will be. So, Hayden, where are you off to next? Rassic City. I've heard of that place. There's an artifact museum. They have heaps of ancient things there. It's pretty cool. I think that to get to Rassic City, you have to go to Sailport Town. It's not too far from here. I'm going to Lake Bliss. I've heard that there are so many... She's all about the cute Pokemon. We're probably going to go there, too. Go to the Safari Zone. It's not far from here, either. I'll catch you later. Nice. So, we're getting a lot of opportunities for some new Pokemon. See you, Hayden. If you come to Lake Bliss, I'll be there. All right. Well, we will go ahead and check out the lake. Also going to go ahead and clip down this here tree because we can. And there's also a PP up there. So, useful. All right. Time to just basically head south. We're going to take a look at the Poke Gear here and see kind of what we're working with. Uh, so, yeah, we just head down. We have the Wild Plains and the Safari Zone there. And then we have Lake Bliss. And then we're going to get to Sailport Town. So, we've got ourselves a lot of stuff to do. I love it. All right. So we're first going to go to the Safari Zone. Also, we can actually surf over here and grab ourselves that Pokeball. Because leave no item behind. It is TM88 for Sleep Talk. Probably never going to use that. But that's fine. And my Donna is like right on top of me. That was a little bit weird, but that's fine. Oh, there's also one of these Swelligans in the water. Uh, so we haven't seen these things in the wild yet, although we have seen Swelligans before. Don't want anything to do with that. And uh, let's just continue this way as we have route 12 so we can actually catch another new pokemon here the hay barrel ranch is an awesome place to work sounds like a pretty sweet place to work rancher samuel here has two pokemon he's got a bad wool of course he does level 39 uh, i'm not sure what the base form of these things even is we're gonna go for a spiky shield first just to see what this thing wants to go for it's probably just a normal type obviously uh, as it just goes for a headbutt that's totally fine and uh you do take some damage from touching my spikes you big dummy. Alright, let's just give it a poison jab. And, uh... This thing totally does look like Wooloo, or whatever that new Pokemon they announced was. Next is a Snuffuzz. Um, more normal types. We're just gonna go ahead and... Let's let Marvin take care of this thing. Marvin is, uh... Only level 47. Probably close to 48. Yeah, we're getting there. Young Snuffuzz. Haven't seen one of these things in a while. Totally forgot about my Snuffuzz, man. Get a critical hit, which doesn't do as much as you would think. These things are fucking bulky as all hell. Well, one more lightning strike is going to do the trick. Yo, guinea pig. Dead as hell. I'm just a rancher. I'm sorry about that, buddy. Had to do it. Had to do it to him. Okay. Um, should probably heal, but we're just going to continue. So, oh, there's another apple here. We'll snag that. Let us see what our first encounter is on this route after we check out what this Pokeball is. Gonna go ahead and cut that there down. So many items. It is TM101 for secret power. Well, that's interesting. All right. New encounter. 
Maybe there's more grass up here. No, nope. just a jabaka berry. We'll freaking take it. Wait, where is the? Am I already not? Do I have to keep going down to get to the safari zone? I do. I continued to the right too far, and uh, I guess we'll have to head back to the wild plains after this. But let's see what we can catch. First step into the grass. That's always a good sign. And it's a freaking worm moon. Uh, so this thing is the ugliest little worm boy ever, but um, kind of cool, I guess. Should I just? I'm, I'm kind of afraid of this for some reason. Let's um, let's switch into Charlotte. We could probably hit it with a bug move, and it would take it. Young worm, you go and crunch me. Okay, let's just go for an X scissor. Or bug bite probably would have been a better bet, but oh, perfect! Knocks it down right into catching range. Okay, let's uh, you know, let's just go for a great ball on you. You're not worthy of the ultra ball. I'm probably not going to use this thing, but in a nuzlocke, it's always good to stock up on as many as you can. And sweet Jesus, that thing didn't even wiggle once. Okay, so bug ground type is a pretty unique typing that I do actually kind of like, but we'll give you an ultra ball. You are actually worthy, buddy. That red health, no shake on the grape. Jesus Christ, no shake out on the freaking ultra ball either. Are these things impossible to catch? Hello? Come on, Ultra Ball. Third time's a charm. Okay, we got a wiggle, and we <laughs> we got it. Oh, from two no shakes to just perfect. Fine, that's totally fine. Okay. So, data out of the Pokedex Bug Ground type. Worm moons spend most of their lives underground, and for the rare occasions where they are above ground, they coat themselves in dirt as armor. Okay, so Wormune, you look like a Gary. So guess what, buddy? You're freaking Gary now. All right. Not the best first encounter. There's probably nothing really too crazy in this grass anyway. Although, now I probably jinxed that. And okay, our second encounter was a Foxavin, which I don't really, I'm not too crazy about this thing either. So we're just gonna run. Oh, never mind. We're not gonna run. Why, why can't I run from this thing? Hello? Now we can. All right. So. Back to business, we do need to go to the south, which is going to take us to... Oh, this one, there's a freaking apple right there. I totally missed all this. Okay, so we head down this way. And what is happening in here? Uh-oh, am I going to have to battle Rodney right here right now? You made it! This is the Pokemon Safari Zone. Here you can find Pokemon that you can't find anywhere else. It's a pretty cool place. It's like a game. You have 30 Safari Balls and a certain amount of time to capture as many Pokemon as you can. I've tried it and I caught some pretty cool Pokemon. How about I show you in a battle? Oh, Jesus. We do have to battle Rodney right now. I was not ready for this. We're not really fully healed up, but uh, hopefully we'll be okay here. All right, Rodney. Uh, so he has six Pokemon. Jesus, he leads off with a Leonite, which is something we have not seen before. I assume this thing's a ground type. Let's go for a bulldo or a, a rock type. It looks kind of like a rocky boy. We're going for a bulldoze here. So he's super effective. Let's hope it dies. Uh, it does not quite die. Uh-oh. That's not good. What does this thing have? It's got Defiant. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It missed the Zen Headbutt. That was so clutch. Holy shit. That was insanely clutch. Um, pretty sure Donna would have just died right there. I had no idea this thing was going to bust out a Zen Headbutt on my Poison type. What the fuck? Well, we're switching into Dracula, predicting the Zen Headbutt. That's right, bitch. Man, I am just dodging death so much lately. My God. I'm just going to kill you with a crunch. And uh, it does it for the first Pokemon, okay. Freaking five to go, though. God, okay. Next is the Terravolt. Um, so we do know that, dude, everything I have is, like, weak right now. We're going into Marvin here. Uh, luckily, we're at the, the levels that we are, though, because this would be a damn scary rival battle. Okay. Energy Ball, huh? So this thing's level 39. We are going to heal up here. Should probably be at max strength for this here. This here matchup. We'll give you a nice little super. Let's see what this terrible wants to do. It's gonna volt switch actually. Okay. Doesn't like this matchup. He gonna get the hell out of here. Are you gonna bring in your starter thing? What are you what are you doing? Lunape. Okay. Uh it goes into the Lunape. Not really sure why he's decided to do that. Should be good to go for a lightning strike. What does this thing have against me? We get the parrot. Doesn't even do half though. Jeez. Oh no, we get the confusion. Sorry. Please hit yourself. It doesn't. It goes for a light burst. And uh, that 
does nothing. Okay. Well, I was a little bit more afraid of this loon ape than I should have been. Um, please hit yourself now. Come on. Little duckies, do your thing. And nope, goes for a moonlight. You bastard. That is annoying. Okay. Well, um... Freaking loon ape, man. So this thing is actually... What is it? Psychic type? Snaps out of the confusion. Of course... Confusion did nothing, so now it's just going to go for a side beam, uh, which does nothing to us. Marvin has a great matchup here, but we get confused ourselves. Damn it, man. We do need to heal up here because I have a feeling I'm going to get hit my hit myself in confusion and then get critted or something, and it's just going to be a bad time. So, Just a side beam. That's totally fine. Now we can just break through, and as long as you don't just keep moonlighting here, we're okay. Please don't hurt yourself, Marvin. You bastard. He did it. No, don't moonlight, please. Fucker. Okay, well, this loon ape is an asshole. Of course he gets the confusion on me and I hit myself. Why? What have I done to deserve this? Oh, shit, now it has dark matter. Okay, uh, that's spooky. Did not expect this thing to have dark matter. Why weren't you using that before, bruh? Okay, well, that's gonna take it out. Two down. Four to go. Next is the bulker. Is that the evolved form of his starter bulker huh i'm afraid of bulker uh this thing could be this could be bad I, do i go into hat what the fuck is bulker if i go into happy i have to risk taking a grass move which could be really bad oh jesus i don't think i have anything for i don't really have nothing for this i could go donna Does it have a ground move? We're going happy. And I should probably heal turn one just to see what this thing wants to go for. I could have gone Donna to protect, but okay. Bulker is... Oh, Jesus. Nope, that is not the thing I thought it was. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Bulker, huh? So that is that crazy-ass clown thing that turned into that. And that is in intense. Okay, uh, we could go Ranja. And try to will wisp it. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to predict the fighting move. Happy does not want to take a fighting move. This thing got swole as hell. What the fuck is that? Goes for a wake up slap. Okay, it doesn't affect me. Hopefully this thing doesn't have anything that it can hit me with. I'm just going to go right for a will o wisp That's what we need. Yes, we connect on the will o wisp Perfect. Oh, fuck it has Smackdown. Okay, we live in though. We live in because of the... Because of the burn. Thank God Ranja's got that will o wisp Alright, let's go ahead and heal up here. Uh, I think I could actually just use a super. Do we need just 50? No, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We ain't taking any chances. We're going hypers. Jesus. Yo, this thing got swole as fuck. This boy been hitting the gym. It reminds me of Kung Kelder, but just way weirder. Okay. Um, that half to tax stat. Coming in clutch. So now we can just go for like a flame burst just for some damage, see how much this does. We have a lot of special attacks, so it does a decent amount. Now it's going to focus energy. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to do the job here. Die, you bastard bulker. Alright, that does take care of it. I'm still afraid of his starter, man. This starter is going to be a threat. Get a bunch of experience. We go to level 39, try to learn meme look. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Okay, what's next, buddy? Next is the Terravolt. Okay, that's fine. Um, for Terravolt, we are going to go back into Marvin. We can heal up Marvin. And that'll be good for us. I don't know if his starter is going to have a ground move. If it does, that's terrible. But okay, so we do need to heal. Let's go for a nice little hyper on you, friend. There you go, Marvy. The Marvinator is ready for this shit. Okay, and air cutter. You know what? While I'm in here on a matchup that I know that I can be okay with, we should probably just heal up the rest of the team, or at least get some other lads into fighting shape. Um, we'll get. We'll just go for a super potion on Happy. I think that's probably good, actually. I also need to sell them max revives. All right, we'll go for a super on Happy. Make him nice and happy. And uh, parabolic charge. Parabolic charge. Parabolic. Had my freaking energy drain. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and throw some side shocks at this thing. Don't think it really matters what we go for. It's a uh, electric flying type, so I mean side shock. And lightning strike are both two hit KOs, so. 
Knocks us down to below half, though, which is unfortunate. And it gets a little bit of health back. Is that enough to survive, though? It would actually kind of help us out if it did. It does. Nice. So now we can go ahead and just go for another hyper. That way we can end up this matchup with more health. Yeah, Marvin. That's right, buddy. And now it's going to Volt Switch. Okay. So he's going to save that thing with like one HP. And that, uh, interesting. Now he's going to go into Mount Tree. And this is the absolute unit right here. Oh, jeez. Um, what do we do against this thing, man? Freaking Mount Tree. It's going to probably want to go for a ground move here. I might switch into Dracula predicting the ground move. Fuck, though. What do I... I kind of need happy... I need happy in here. It's level 40. Uh, I'm going to try to go into happy. Oh, man. Man. Dude, this is tough. This mount tree is a fucking threat. It probably has a ground move. It looks like the type of freaking unit that would. Um, I'm just afraid that once I get Dracula in, I'm not going to be able to hurt it very bad. Um... With acrobatics, it's neutral. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to try that. We're switching in. The Bat Boy. I'm afraid of this Mount Tree. It's already taken so many lives. It's going to Razor Leaf. Okay. But we can come in on a Razor Leaf pretty easily. I'm just afraid that it's going to start using Rollout. And then after it... Once it uses Rollout, man, that shit's like almost game over. But I think we have no other choice than to just stay in here and go for an acrobatics. Ooh. Oh, shit. It has Wild Charge. No, thank God, we live in. Luckily, we're eight levels higher. Sweet Jesus, this thing has fucking wild charge, bro. They just be putting random shit on Pokemon these days. My God, that is gonna take out the Mount Tree. Get a bunch of experience there, and uh, Terravolt is back. This freaking thing just does never want to die. Okay, let's go into. We could actually let Donna get this get this KO. Yo, this rival battle got me sweating, boy. Wish I had Stealth Rock up. That would be helpful. Okay. Let's just go for a Poison Jab. Um, all it has on us is Air Cutter. Which don't hurt too bad. And a Jab you right in the chest. And you dead. We do grow to 43 off of that. Next is a Bowel. Okay, so there's his freaking Bowel. Uh, we don't have any Fighting Boys. But what we do have is our freaking Beast Happy. I seem like we're really high level to be at the point we are in the game. Like, we're not even that far. Okay, this thing is level, only level 38. We're just going to give you a nice little Scald, buddy. Shouldn't be too afraid of the Batwolf, as that does knock it out. So, we freaking done it. That was spooky as hell. Not again. All right. I thought I could win. Well, let me heal your Pokemon. Thanks, buddy. So, he's going to heal us up, and now I guess we can take on... We can do the Safari Zone thing. Get ourselves some new Mons and stuff. Going to go to Rassic City. Or you can get a rare Pokemon if you beat a famous Pokemon trainer there. Next time, I will win. Maybe, maybe not. All right, cool. Well, I'm glad that Happy stayed alive because next time it seems like we're going to have to battle like the Dragon Gym Leader. And that should be scary. But we got ourselves a Blue Apricorn. Anyway, guys, we are going to end the episode here. Next time we're going to see what's up with the Safari Zone. Maybe we can get a cool hat like these people and fit in. But uh, yeah, don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.